you're getting ready to experience a complete shift in your reality. Those of you who this is for, you have been transforming in a wonderful way. Some of you have been doing a much better job than what you think. What I'm gonna say briefly before we get into talking about not only the fact that your reality is gonna shift, we're gonna talk about why and we'll also talk about how. But before we get into that, I must lay a little bit of foundation. For a lot of you who this video is for, you may not even realize this video is for you because you may be feeling like you're lost. You may be feeling like you're confused. You might be feeling like, well, I've been a little bit more tired than usual lately. And you could have been dealing with this in spurts. You could have been dealing with fatigue time and again over prolonged periods of time where you're not even understanding where the fatigue is coming from. It's one thing if you're burning yourself out and you're like, I have fatigue because I'm burning myself out. But sometimes it might just hit you and you're like, what's going on? Why am I having this spell of sleepiness? Why am I feeling so fatigued? Some of you may have been getting sick more than usual. I know I'm the type of person that I never really got sick ever. I'm very healthy. I still do the same thing. I have the same habits. And some of you, even as of me, after 2020 hit and COVID came and I got COVID the first time. I have dealt with sickness almost every year, sometimes multiple times a year. And I've caught COVID at least like three or four times at this point, honestly, even just as of lately. Some of you could be feeling certain things in your physical body where you could be feeling things don't feel right. Some of you could be like, man, I'm doing everything to stay connected, pray, meditate, do what I need to do. But sometimes I feel like I'm not tapping in or it's having the opposite effect. And there could be a lot of wonky things going on. Okay. There's several things that I can name. Some of you could be having certain skin conditions or just things that you can't physically physically get an explanation for. Things happening in your legs where maybe your muscles or certain things are feeling different. This is because you have shifted on a major level and you're shifting. A lot of you are moving to a higher frequency which is totally needed. Everything is ascending. Even when we're talking about the kingdom of heaven being established on earth, or some people call it the 3D, 5D earth split, things are shifting. For those of you who don't talk in that language, you don't think about those types of things, or you might not be as spiritual, ask yourself this question. Answer me this. Has time been speeding up? Has years been going by faster than ever? I mean, did 2024 not just start? Have months been flying by? Have weeks been flying by? A week used to feel substantial. Now a week feels like about three days. This is because things have been shifting. Even if you look at it scientifically, the earth has actually been spinning at a faster pace. Things are changing. Everything that happens materially is a reflection of something that is happening spiritually. And even with the earth actually spinning faster and many of us experiencing time, like, wait a minute, no way can time be at the same pace. Things have sped up even on a scientific level. So when we're talking about what has been happening spiritually is there's been a huge shift in frequency. It's a time where we're needing to ascend. Light needs to come. There's been enough darkness and things are getting balanced out. For those of you who this is for, you're getting ready to experience a complete shift in your reality because you've been doing the things to allow the shift. You've been allowing the processes to happen is going to allow you to be light allow you to exist at a higher frequency, at a higher vibration. For a lot of you, when we hear about these things, it sounds good like, oh, the earth is shifting and, you know, love and we're going to be able to go higher and there's going to be these splits and all of these types of things. But the process of this happening, for many of you, you could feel like everything in your life is spinning out of control or things are going wrong when they're actually falling into place. One thing that I want to speak about, because for a lot of you who this video is for, one way that you could be experiencing these shifts is you could be doing a lot of emotional purging. Some of you, there might be moments where you've been doing everything correctly. You've been thinking righteously. You've been Philippians 4, 8. If there's anything good, anything honorable, anything worthy of praise, you've been focusing on those things. You've been praying. You've been meditating. You've been making sure whatever you consume through your eye gate, through your ear gate, through your mouth gate is appropriate for your mind, body, and spirit. Many of you are doing the right things and then it's like, wait, how am I hitting this roadblock? Where are these emotions coming from? Why does it feel like I'm doing so much to ascend and so much to get myself in a righteous way of being, meaning taking the right actions that are beneficial for my mind, body, and spirit? If you're doing these things, if I'm doing these things, then tell me why does it seem like I'm having the opposite results? What I want to say, embrace the process let it happen. If you're feeling fatigue and you're like, you don't understand where it's coming from, or you're feeling it, just go with it. Allow yourself to rest. 
Sometimes you might realize if you're feeling fatigued for some of you, you might do a meditation before you go to sleep. Sometimes you'll be surprised to realize that you might feel a little tired and then you go into a meditation and then you come out the meditation with energy like your battery got charged to 100%. Go with the flow. Also, another thing that I want to say that's going to be a key part and component, the whole reason I even wanted to come sit down and do this video is to explain this. It's very important, especially for those of you who know that you're chosen, for those of you who know that you're light workers, for those of you who know that you're light bearers. And how do you know this? Because first of all, you're having these discussions. First of all, the things that I'm saying, you know what I'm talking about. You are actively and consciously on this path. None of us are perfect. It's not about that. It's a time where we've been in where we're being able to purge and release those lower vibrational emotions and frequencies that are not going to allow us to ascend when that true shift is live in the flesh. For some of you, it's a lot of things that has been happening or might seem like, why am I dealing with so much? And it's because there are certain things that you're getting out of the way. Even karmically, it's like things are happening faster so that you can ascend and do what you need to do faster. So for some of you, it could be like, man, it's been one thing after another, after another, after another. It's like, I can't catch a break, but it's because you're being put on a fast track. You're being put on a fast track to your entire life shifting completely. For those of you that are familiar with scripture, and y'all know I talk about scripture a lot, and especially this, how many of you have heard about Job? Even for some of you that might never have read the Bible, you might know the story of Job. I wasn't raised religiously or any of those things growing up, but I remember even as a child, I knew the story of Job because it blew my mind. I'm like, wait a minute, you're telling me that in the beginning it says this is my good and righteous servant, yet God allows the devil to tear through Job and take everything from this man except his life? That was wild to me. So I never forgot that story. And for so many of you, you may feel that way. And especially right now, I might feel like, man, when am I really going to catch a break? I've already been dealing with all of these things. Things continue to happen when you're not realizing you're literally at the brink. You're literally at the precipice of your latter days. With Job, he went through all of those things, but then his latter days were greater than his former. Everything was re-given to him in double portion. This is what a lot of you are getting ready to experience. The thing that I want to say about it is when you're going through this process, process it sounds good but the different components that are involved in it if you don't know what's going on you could get confused and you could feel like maybe you're doing the wrong thing or something is off when you're actually exactly where you need to be for some of you what you're going to realize as you're shifting are some of you are going to feel intense emotions. Now, these emotions can be triggered from different things. It can be triggered from conversations that you're having. It can be triggered from an event. It can be triggered for something that you randomly see on a movie or hear on a song. It could be triggered to where you're like, you don't even know where it came from. Like, man, I was having a great day, a great week. Why am I feeling this way all of a sudden? Some of you, it could be triggered from certain dreams that you're having that you're not realizing, memories that you're having at night. And then when you wake up, you're having different feelings or different emotions that are really strong inside of you. The thing about this, allow yourself to feel it. This is not a time to run. For those of you who are really transforming and ascending and moving to higher vibrations, go straight through the storm. Not long ago, we went to see Twister in like one of those fully immersive experiences, which was way too much for me for me and every other adult in there, it was wild. And what they were doing, they were storm chasing. Okay, so I want to talk about this even in terms of what we're talking about here. This is not about you storm chasing. This is not about you trying to go dig up memories. This is not about you trying to willfully do shadow work and find things that you need to work through. It's none of that. This process is going to happen naturally. That's why some of you, when this is happening, you're confused because you're like, well, I didn't do anything for this to happen. I've been focused over here. Things have been going great. Where is this coming from? It's coming because Holy Spirit knows the things that are inside of you and the things that are ready to be released and the things that are ready to come up. It's so important that even as Twister, they were storm chasing. It's not about storm chasing, but the one thing that they did right that I want to talk about here is the only way to where we're going is through the storm. We live in a world, in a life, and even with many light workers, one of the main blockages of, of a lot of chosen ones and a lot of star seeds and a lot of light workers is the lower vibrational pain that we've picked up on earth. The fear. This is a planet of fear. We'll talk about that for another day. Pain. All of those lower things that we've experienced, rejection, sadness, abandonment, all of these different things, it, the list goes on, abuse, all of these things that we've experienced as we have come into these physical bodies, those things that we've experienced that hurt us, 
Christ in the flesh are the very things that are blocking that ascension. And one of the main things that blocks it is fear and everything that is attached to fear. Because even if I name a list of a hundred negative emotions, you can taste all of those back some form of way. You, you keep chopping it down, keep pulling the layers back, keep pulling the onion. You'll get down to like, wow, the root of this is fear. Think about what's going on even in the world with war. What do you think is at the root of what would spark a war? It's fear. If you really pull back things, if you pull back any atrocity that you can think of and you really think about what is the root of it, the root of it is fear. And fear is opposite and very far from source. It's very far from what love is. Opposite of love is fear. So a lot of you, a lot of chosen ones, what you don't realize is that it's true. God will not put more on you than you can bear. This is where we get mixed up at and this is where we get confused and this is where we get stuck. When we think about God will put no more on you than you can bear, we're thinking about ourselves in these physical bodies. Oh, pretty boss can handle this. Oh, Jerome can handle this. Oh, Jackie can handle this. Oh, Keisha can handle this. And it's not that. So then it feels discouraging because it's like, man, I could never work through these things. I have all these blockages. I got all this pain. What you want me to do with it? I can't help the trauma and abuse that I went through when I was younger. I've been programmed away. And the thing I want to tell y'all about this is you're going to realize who you are very soon. And a lot of you are going to realize who you are through a very um, intense experience. And for some of you, it could be in terms of emotions. It could be something that you feel, something that's triggered, even like I say, when we're purging these emotions. It can be something that's triggered inside of you that comes up. And what you're going to realize is you have two choices in that moment. For many of you, for many of us, there have been times in our lives and certain things that we know that we deal with and we've run from them. We can run, but we can't hide. You can get all the money. You can travel wherever you want to go. You can date all the people you want to date, sleep with who you want to sleep with, eat what you want to eat, do what you want to do. But there are core issues that are inside of you. You can run, but you can't hide. It's all going to come back to that point. Many of us understand this. Many of you many of us have been through different cycles in our life that it's like man what's going on why do i keep coming back to this and this is because there's a still a certain root that has been being avoided for a lot of you this root is very deep some of you when these strong emotions happen inside of you you weren't cognizant of it some of you these things happen in the womb some of you picked up on certain energies even before you were born. And even if you had an abusive life, some of where your deep, deep-seated program trauma that's in your body comes from, it was in the womb. And you'd be shocked because some of you are like, well, I can tell you I've been traumatized here, here, and here. And some of you don't even realize like, no, it, it was before then it was in the womb that that whole vibration was even picked up in the first place. This is the thing. Some of you are getting ready to have an intense experience and you're going to feel a, a certain emotion or you're going to feel something. Some of you are going to experience it in a spiritual way. Way. especially for those of you who are able to feel your aura and able to feel your energy outside of your physical body some of you are going to feel it in a very physical way but you're also going to feel it in how it also interacts with your emotional and spiritual body when this happens allow it to happen allow yourself to feel it no matter how bad it feels allow yourself to feel it if you cry if you start shaking whatever it is allow it to fill you allow it to expand okay Allow it to have its way. And as it's happening, what many of you are going to start to realize is when you let that process happen, and again, I talk about this on Patreon. Shout out to everybody on Patreon. Y'all can join us on patreon.com slash prettyboxtv. All of my links are below. That's where we really do deep dives and we really do the light work over there. If you're serious about it, patreon.com. We'll love to have you in the family. The thing that I'll say about this is many of us on Patreon, we've talked about this. We've been talking about this for years, but especially for the past couple of years, we've been talking about many purges have been coming out. You feel a little fear, feel it and let it happen. You feel sadness, feel your sadness and let it pass. You feel depressed, feel your depression and let it pass. Some of you have done that and you're, you're like, oh, I've done that. I already know. What I'm talking about here is something way more intense than what you've ever experienced. This is a core, like all the other things that you're familiar about. Let's say you're like, well, yeah, I know I feel fear or I know I deal with anger or I know I deal with resentment or I know I deal with envy or I know I deal with whatever it might be that you deal with. You might know and you might have worked through some of these emotions. The thing is, these were all different things that were like side effects and the outer layers of the onion of the core of what was going on. Those of you who this video is for, you're getting ready to experience a painful emotion that was at the core 
of your trauma. A painful emotion, it literally has affected every single aspect of your life and you haven't realized it. The thing about it, for those of you who this happens for, and some of you are going to experience this spiritually in a way to where, you know how when you're doing deliverance, if we're talking about it in the terms of certain religious communities, when you're doing deliverance, you'll call out certain spirits. I call out the spirit of fear. I call out the spirit of anger. I call out the spirit of rejection. The thing is, some of you are going to experience an emotion. You're going to experience a feeling. And for some of you, you're not going to have even the words for what that is. For others of you, you're going to hear what it is. And when you hear it, the first thing we always want to do is, oh, I want to rebuke it. I want to cast it out. I want to do this. But this is what chosen ones are actually equipped to do. And I'm going to say something that is very real and very deep and everybody's not going to be ready for it. But some of you are going to hear this now and years later or when it's your time and it happens, you're going to be like, oh my goodness, this is exactly what she was talking about. This is the thing. We come in as light workers. We come as chosen ones. And what this world is set up to do is divide and conquer. Everything is fight. Everything is war. Look at what's happening now. This has been the nature of earth. This has been the nature of human civilization. If we see something we don't like, if we see something that's like, let's say somebody's ex doing some type of form of hate, the first thing we want to come do is fire with fire. They did this. They deserve this punishment. Punishment. They deserve to do this. They deserve these actions. And the thing about it is so deep. Even for myself, I battled with this question in my mind. I'm not going to lie for the past few years. I'm like, Yeshua was talking about turn the other cheek. This ain't time for to turn the other cheek. We need to stand up. We need to da da da. We need to whoop de whoop de whoop. Yeshua showed us the way and Yeshua ain't never lie. Like when I say Yeshua was the way, the truth, and the life, facts. And many of you are going to understand this and have this revelation and experience within yourself. It's one thing to read scripture. It's one thing to understand it cognitively and know it but it's one thing to live it it's one thing to have that true revelation that happens inside of you hence when we start talking about revelations in the bible i said this to say you're going to start having higher awareness of your true power let's go back to the example of war and how we function on earth you hurt me you did this you deserve to go to jail you should have this happen and this happen to repay the thing is let's be honest if you have hate and you fight hate with hate what do you have now you have hate times hate. So when you bring hate to hate, that's going to add to the energy of it. If you have fear and you add more fear, that's going to increase fear. We know what we focus on grows. Let's take those words out. If you have fire and you want to put it out, you know what you're not going to put it out with? More fire. You add fire to fire, now you have a bigger fire. You got to put fire out with water. Same thing when we're talking about these things and some of these lower emotions you're going to be feeling. Anger, hate, fear, all of these negative things that comes and stems from fear. There's only one way to eradicate it and that's through love. This is the key that I want to talk about. For those of you who this video is for, you're getting ready to experience the power inside of you that is who you actually actually are because you're not who you are in these physical bodies how do we know that because these physical bodies are caskets these physical bodies got an expiration date we know that who you are aren't these bodies we know energy is neither created nor destroyed we know as scripture said before you were formed in the womb god knew you so that means even before you were in the womb in this physical body you were known by god the thing is this, some of you are getting ready to experience a very intense emotion and some of you might have already went through this process and if you did, let me know in the comments because I'm pretty sure there's a lot that you're going to be able to truly share for those of you who've experienced that. For those of you who haven't, you're getting ready to experience something and what it's going to allow you to do is allow the opportunity for what's inside of you to rise up. And what's inside of you is love. What's inside of you is light. What's inside of you is truth. What's inside of you is God. We come from God. Everything that we see has emanated from God is emanated from source. So if you come from source, that means every part of you is also made of source. It's made of God. But we come here in these physical bodies, especially as we descend to earth, and we pick up all of these lower vibrational things that starts to add points of darkness. It starts to add void in our vessel then now we're not able to fully connect it adds further disconnect from that which you truly are from the power that is inside of you we know the power of holy spirit dwells in our temple some of you are getting ready to experience something that is so intense emotionally and when you don't run from it when you think about it like you know what that's it i'm going straight through the eye of the storm just like the girl did on twister what you're gonna realize is going to come to a point where it might feel like it's almost more than you can bear some of you this is going to be a feeling that it's like 
you probably have never felt this. And what you're going to realize in that moment is as you allow it, as you stop fighting it, as you stop running from it, because for many of you, the little other emotions that you feel or that you've been dealing with or those cycles that you've been dealing with in life, they're just offshoots from one small seed that was the inception of that void. You're getting ready to experience the core of your block. And you're going to experience this in a way where you'll feel this some of you, a lot of you physically, emotionally, it's very intense. And as you choose to not run from it, and you're like, you know what, the only way is through, what you're going to realize is in that process, there's going to be something inside of you that expands that is much larger than it. And when this expands outside, what it's going to do is it's going to not eradicate it. So even when we talk about fighting fire with fire, that's why Yeshua told us to turn the other cheek, because he knew that there was only one way. So when you're talking about fighting fire with fire, we know that doesn't do it hate with hate is not going to create love envy with envy is not going to create love uh anger with anger is not going to create love so you have to bring something else to there there needs to be there it takes some it takes another element some of you as you allow this process to happen you're gonna see who you really are and who you are is love and I don't mean the type of love that we use on earth. I really don't always like to use that word because love means so many things to so many people. God means so many things to so many people. People say God, it can mean a million different things. People say love. They can say, I love you, mom. I love ice cream and I love football all in one sentence. And it has different meanings, but we just put that blanket term on so much. You're getting ready to experience truth. You're getting ready to experience the essence of who you are and the power of what's inside of you. I'm calling it love, but it's so hard to explain with earth terms because that's a very limited term as I just described. You're getting ready to experience it, not hear it, not feel it, not just an emotional thing like, oh, I love you too. You made me feel so good. Give me a kiss. We're not talking about in a physical 3D way. We're talking about beyond that. You're getting ready to actually experience love. When this comes out inside of you, this is going to do a few things. For one, whatever that is that you're that you have to come face to face with whatever it is that you have to come face to face with whatever that core issue whatever that core wound what you're going to realize is as soon as this process happens it might not be that night it could be the next day it could be whenever but what you're going to realize is you're going to feel it start to dissipate it might feel very intense at first but it's going to dissipate and dissipate and dissipate it's going to get to a point to where you barely feel it and what you're going to realize, and I'm going to tell you what's happening, is you're transmuting. Alchemists in the flesh. We want to fight fear. We want to fight hate. We want to fight all of these things because that's what this 3D paradigm teaches us to do. But we see the results. Look at it. Put on the news. Look on YouTube for a second. You can see the results of that mentality. That's not it. What it's been doing is expanding hate, expanding fear, expanding pain, expanding anger, and all of these negative lower emotions and attachments. When you allow that process to happen, what you're going to realize is you're a very powerful vessel and you're going to realize why you were sent here. And you're also going to come to the realization that everything that you've been through, everything that has happened to you, first of all, it has never taken touched you. Things that have happened to you have happened to this body. Things that have happened have happened to the mind. It has happened to the physical things. But who you are has never been touched by anybody or anything on earth. Who you truly are and what's truly inside of you is getting ready to come out. And when it does, it's not going to have to eradicate fear or any of these things. It's going to allow it to transmute into another form. It's going to allow it to shift. We talk about the 5D and the 3D shifts is, oh, people need to become higher vibrational and they need to clean themselves up to shift as people. But we got to understand everything's energy. And we got to understand the main energies that have been dominating this planet. We're doing things at the core level we're going beyond the flesh we're going beyond the people we're going to the source of things we're going to the spiritual nature of things and you're going to see that you are here and you were sent here to be a vessel of alchemy energetic alchemy to where you're taking these things and you're alchemizing them by allowing the light inside of you to do its job nothing you need to do but allow who you are to come out and do that work you're gonna see and you're gonna start to realize everything that you've ever been through here has never been personal you were sent here with a purpose and a mission and you knew when you was coming that you were equipped with everything that you need to surmount anything that was happening down here the scripture tells us we were given the keys to trample over all serpents 
and scorpions. That is the power that truly exists inside of you when you're able to move beyond the illusion of the facade, beyond the illusion of the flesh. When you connect with that, you're going to realize that there's truly nothing outside of you that is greater than anything that's in you. You're going to truly realize that there's nothing on the outside that can put up even a tiny flame. You're going to realize that there's nothing on the outside that could ever stand next to what actually exists inside of you. Love is stronger than anything. Light is stronger than anything. That is all. That is the truth. That is what exists. What everything else is, is the illusion. When we have shadows, when we have darkness, that's because you block the light. That's not because the light isn't there, but it's because it's being blocked. So many of you that are listening to this and you're watching this, you don't realize the power that is inside of yourself and you're getting ready to come to a place where you have a revelation, you have an experience, not from what you've read, not from what you heard, but something that you actually experienced. For many of you, it could be things that you have understood for a long time and been like, man, why isn't it clicking for me? It's getting ready to click. You're getting ready to have your revelation. And when this happens, again, you'll understand what even I'm saying when I'm saying we don't fight fear with fear. You No. Everything wants to exist. The worst fear of anything in most people, even if, if you really pull back the layers, is not existing. Now, I know some people may listen to this and like, look, I never, please take me out, out off of earth. I don't want to exist on earth. I'm not talking about existing in these physical bodies. I'm not talking about existing in this lifetime. I'm talking about existing. We all want to exist. We just don't want to exist in torment. We all want to exist. We just don't want to exist in hell. We all want to exist. We just don't want to exist in repeat patterns and cycles that we can't figure out why is this happening. But we all want to exist. This is the same thing with any other thing, including fear, including anger, including pain, including rage. It, it wants to exist. And so many people are influenced by these lower vibrations because they want to exist. These things are existing out of fear of their eradication. And so people are constantly being influenced and fueled by these, I guess for some people you could say spirit of fear or spirit of rejection or spirit of these things. It's not about eradicating fear. It's not about eradicating hate. It's not about eradicating any of those things. It's about bringing love to them. Because once you bring love to it, guess what? It's not even about it not existing but it's able to transform. It's able to come back into union with its actual true essence. It's able to exist in a different form, in a different potential, in a different polarity. This is the same shift that has happened inside of us where we're talking about we're le moving from a lower density to a higher one. We're shifting to a higher polarity. I talk about this all the time when I talk about light workers and chosen ones and how your journey has been crazy, how your journey has been hard, how some of the chosen ones have had harder journeys than other people that might not identify in that type of way. And it was not on accident. It was for a reason. And I always talk about every single thing that you've ever experienced. If you had a very bad life, very, very bad, that means that you have the ability to have a very good, very, very good life because it's been equally as bad. So now you can think about that lowness that you have experienced in life as your trampoline point to where from that low, you can go equally that high. And this is when we do that transformation and alchemy in our in our own lives. But many of you are getting ready to experience this on a much larger level and scale. And even when we talk about that, it's not about eradicating fear. It's not about eradicating evil, but it's about transmuting it into its true form, allowing it to have its reverse of nature, which is love, which is light, which is truth, which is something that even those words can't describe what I'm actually talking about. You have this inside of you and it's nothing that you have to do. All you need to do is allow. And some of you are going to have a very extreme experience. I'm telling you, it's going to be intense for those of you who undergo this process. It is, it, you can think about it even when we think about Yeshua. What did he do on the cross? He took on everything. He didn't fight anger. He didn't fight fear. He didn't fight pain. He didn't fight hatred. He didn't fight any of it. He bore it all on the cross. Look what Yeshua's legacy gave birth to plenty sons of God. We out here, chosen ones. That's the strongest thing that anyone could do. Even if we think about that, it's like, man, Yeshua could have technically did a lot of things. He could have been like, I'm not doing that. Do this to these people or allow this to happen to these people. He said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. And he took it all. He didn't fight it. He took it all and he transmuted it 
And now we're able to do that because he did that great work. He took all of those things on. So now we're here in these vessels. And for those of us who are chosen, those who are sent as sons of God, have that ability, that same ability. And that's what you came to do. You're not this flesh. You're not your past experiences. Not long from now, many of you, especially who've gone, been going through this process, and for some of you, it could be in different ways that it takes place, but it's going to be the same result. You're not going to be the same person. Some of you have been through things that you won't believe me when I tell you right now, there are certain traumas and dramas and pains that you've been through that you will laugh about one day because you'll realize it never even happened to you. And it make you realize the reason that you came to have certain experiences was not because God didn't love you or God forgot about you, but because that was part of the plan. Because God knew what you were sent here with. And you were sent down here with the spirit of God inside of you. The power of love inside of you. The power of source inside of you. Which is greater than anything that we see or can experience with our physical eyes and flesh. When this process happens... You're also going to see that your external reality shifts relatively quickly with it as well. Because you're getting ready to experience and allow a block inside of you to transmute. And it's not just going to transmute for your personal experience. This is something that you're transmuting on a cosmic level on earth. You're transmuting dark to light just through your vessel. Just allowing it to be. Just allowing that love to come forth and do what it needs to do for those different pains and different spirits of this and that that you've experienced or that you felt or lived with. Many of you are going to start to experience healings in your body where it's like, man, I just needed to get an organ transplant. I just need, I just got a cancer diagnosis. I just got this. And now I got a checkup and they're saying everything looked normal, like nothing happened. You're going to see, I feel Holy Spirit all over me. Some of you are getting ready to have this experience in your life. Some of you are getting ready to really experience the revelation of Christ through you. You're getting ready to experience that death and rebirth. When that happens inside of you and you connect with that part of you, which is who you actually are, it's going to change everything. Everything. Nothing is going to be the same for you after that because you can't undo a revelation. Many people understand things. Many people know things. Many people can read scriptures, watch videos, say what other people have said. But it's the difference when you have the experience. And when you have that revelation, you're getting ready to realize that you are sent here on purpose with a mission and you are fully equipped for it, fully equipped. There's never been anything you need to be afraid of. There's never been anything to fear. The power in you is greater than any force, anything, any type of opposition, shadow or darkness in this world is much, much, much greater, much superior to all of it. Your life is going to change. Some of you are going to start realizing that there could be certain instances or certain generational curses or certain things that you've been dealing with that you could have been having people in your life you've been going back and forth with for years. Things just not coming together. And all of a sudden, when you experience this shift, everything's going to change like day and night. Things that you could not figure out for the life of you, whether it's your finances or this and that, you're going to see all of those things clear up. Many of you are going to start to realize that you thought it was hard. You thought your work was hard. No, it wasn't. The former days, trying to understand, trying to figure out who you are, going through that process, that was the hard part, taking on all that pain. All of these things that just like Job, you didn't do anything to deserve that. You were God's good, faithful, and righteous servant, which is why you were sent here to do work on earth to bring this planet back to a better polarity before it really went off to the abyss, which can't do that. So many of you, many of us came here and were sent here with a purpose for that, but didn't realize within that purpose, we were meant to take on certain things. Certain things had to happen to us. It doesn't matter how it happened, what was the form of abuse or trauma or drama, but they were meant to happen so that there will be certain physical experiences that we have that involves many different forms of pain so that we could transmute that and allow our vessel to be a conduit to that. This shift, many of you are going to start realizing it's not even about what you need to do. Many people are like, what's my purpose? I need to find my purpose. Many of you are going to realize that your whole purpose has been to be who you are. Not your name, not your job, not your occupation, not your title, but who you are truly 
that which transcends any of these physical attributes or anything that you can tie yourself to in the 3D. You're getting ready to connect with that. <laughs> and the game is over. Your life is going to go from seeming like, when is this going to be over to feeling like you're playing one of your favorite video games that you'll, let's do it again. Let's do it again. That was fun. Let's do it again. You're getting ready to remember why you came and who you are and it's going to change everything. And again, for those of you that are watching this video, I don't want you to try to force this to happen. It's not going to be anything that you need to try to force. The only thing that I will say for those of you that are watching this and you are like, you know what? I would love to have the revelation of Christ happen through me. I would love to know God, pray and meditate. And I'm going to give you a prayer that you can meditate on. Also, another scripture that one of my Patreon shared, Dawood, shout out to Dawood. He shared a powerful Ephesians 117 that you can pray that and meditate on that one, which I'm going to share. And you can also say this one, our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You can meditate on that. You can pray on that and meditate on it daily and regularly. I highly recommend Ephesians 117. Shouts out to Dawood on Patreon. See you soon at the event, by the way. You meditate on this and you have a true desire for this revelation. You have a true desire for Christ to be resurrected inside of you. You're going to have an experience that changes your life forever. And you're going to see that it was one tiny seed, one tiny dot of void that was placed inside of your vessel due to these physical experiences that once that light hits that tiny void, it eradicates it. And you're going to see how this also affects every area of your life and every relationship that you're connected to. Shout out to everybody who made it through this video. I didn't even expect for it to be this long, but we're going in. You're shifting and your entire life is going to change. You don't even have to worry about it. I'm talking about Beyond anything that you can think or ask, we're talking about really walking in miracle signs and wonders for real. Yeshua told us, ye are gods. Things that I have done, you would do greater things than these. But then it goes on to say, yet you shall die. One of the distinctions and the reasons that Yeshua said this is because one, you would do greater things. You saw what Yeshua did. He took on all that, transmuted that energy. He healed miracle signs and wonders all day. Yeshua said, you will do greater things than these. And you know why you can do greater things than these? Because Yeshua already did the, the forerunner part. So now people set you up for better. Just like each generation has set the next generation up for greater opportunities. This is the same thing. Yeshua did a heavy work so that we may have it easier and still come fulfill the rest of that work, but be able to do it to a different level than Yeshua did because he set us up to be able to do that. However, it's not about us being gods as pretty boss is God. Clara is God. Any of these people is not about a particular person being God. These This flesh will die. So what he's saying by when he says, but you will die, he's like, don't get it twisted. It's not you in this physical body that I'm speaking about our gods, but I'm talking about that which is inside of you that has the power to do greater and above and beyond anything that I have done to this point. That's who you are. If you would like to book a personal with me, you can book on prettybosstv.com. There's a lot of different services that I provide, credit guidance, just one-on-one -on -one chit chats, video over the phone, however you prefer it. Another thing that I must say is if you're watching this video and you're catching it on a certain time, we will be popping up in Atlanta, Georgia on November 2nd. We have a meet and greet. It's going to be a pop the balloon meet and greet that I'm very excited about. So if you would like to come, you don't have to be single. You could just be in the audience chilling. It's going to be a, a, a fully inclusive food, music, DJ, everything provided for. VIP, exclusive style, the way that y'all know how Pretty Boss gets down, especially for those of you who came to meet and greets in the Hiller Retreat before. We taking it to a whole nother level. I'm always about having an experience. We don't have enough experiences in the world. Everything is avatar. Everything's on the phone. Everything's on social media. No, we have to get together as people. We know where two or three join their God is in the midst. So imagine when we start really linking up in person. If we've had these things happen and these revelations happen to us 
on the computer. Imagine what happens when we come together in person in the flesh. Think about that. Think about the work that will be done. Yes, we're going to turn up. Yes, we're going to have a fun time. But you know, when you put children of God in the, in the same room, you already know Holy Spirit is going to all the way have its way. So if you would like to join us, the Patreon tickets sold out a few times. I just added some more tickets to Patreon. If you're on YouTube and you're not on Patreon, you would like to join us, visit prettybosstv.com to get your tickets. If any of you have any questions or anything about the event, you can definitely feel free to email me at prettybosstv at gmail.com. And make sure that you check out PV Exclusive because, yes, we're back. The only official sponsor of Pretty Boss TV is back where you can get your classy, sophisticated, beautiful ladies apparel and accessories all on pvexclusive.com. Right now, we have an exclusive sale that's going on to get it back in the group 50% off site wide. Then we go check out PV Exclusive, okay? If you like Pretty Boss's style and swag, hey. I put it all on the line on PB Exclusive, okay? Check that out. And also, if you would like to join our community of like-minded and light-hearted people and chosen ones, you can find us on patreon.com slash prettybosstv. All of my links are below. I love y'all so much, and I'll talk to y'all soon, y'all willing. Peace.